Hi, I'm Bob from Plastic Pipe Shop and in this video I'm going to give you a few tips to use when you're installing double union ball valves which will hopefully help you avoid some really common mistakes. So the first tip is to always try and install the valve in an upright position with cement only being applied to the bottom of the valve. This stops any cement dripping down or running through to the operating part of the valve which could glue the whole thing up and make it unusable. Sometimes cementing a valve like this just isn't possible and you'll have to remove the union ends from the valve and cement these on separately. That's fine but there have been numerous times in the past when I've been installing valves like this and have realised only too late that I've glued the valve end on but haven't put the union nut over the pipe first. If the other end of your pipe is already glued onto something, you're now in a spot of bother as you somehow need to get the nut back on, probably by cutting the pipe and using an extra socket or union fitting. To try to overcome that, when you take the valve end off, always make sure at all times you keep the union nut over the top of it. Another problem with doing it this way is you can end up with cement running down the face of the valve end, which is the part that's supposed to seal on the valve's o-ring. The cement attacks the plastic very, very quickly and if it's not wiped off immediately, it can damage the face and affect the seal. The second tip is to only ever tighten your unions up hands tight. Never use pump pliers, stilsons, belts or anything like that to tighten them. Double union ball valves are designed so that this is all they will ever need. If you've done this and your valve is leaking, then it's more than likely the issue is either the angle that the pipe is approaching the valve isn't true, or that the pipes have been cut too short and the gap between the valve ends is longer than the valve body, so there's a gap. Both of these situations will lead to the o-ring not sealing properly on the valve seat. The third and final tip I've got here is to always check your valve and to see if there's a direction of flow arrow on it. If it does have one, make sure you pay close attention to it. If a valve is installed with the correct flow direction, you can undo the union on the discharge side of the valve without any issues, even when there's pressure on the other side of the valve. Some manufacturers put floating seats on one end of their valves, and if you have your valve the wrong way round, then when you take the union off with pressure on this side, some of the internal parts of the valve are likely to blow out, which will cause you all sorts of bother. If you're unsure about any aspects of insulation, call our experienced team and they'll be happy to advise. Thanks for watching. Bye.